guys. So for today's lesson, we're still in unit 16. We're on page 134. So before you get started with today's lesson, we're gonna read out of our Super Kids book. It is going to be the last story. Oh. I know. And the name of our story is called Zoo Clue. It starts on page 206 and goes all the way to the very end of our book. Ooh, look at that. To 217. So this is our last story in our book, okay guys? So go ahead and read that. Pause the video until you're all done. And then I'll see you in a second. <laughs> so we're on page 134 of unit 16. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna respond to the questions about the story that you just read by selecting or writing the answer for each question. So number one, who made up clues for the kids to find at the zoo? The zookeeper, Adabetta, the lady in the ticket booth. So bubble in the correct answer. Number two, what did the kids have to find, or oof, what did the kids have to do to find the clues? Solve riddles about animals? Ask the zookeeper questions? Look for animal tracks. Now, if you read the story, you'll know the answer. Bubble in your answer. Number three, where did the kids find an animal that flies in the dark and hangs upside down? In the duck pond? at the petting zoo, or in the bat house. Well, if you know what animal hangs out in the dark and hangs upside down, you should know the answer to that one. Number four, what words did the red letters in the clues make? Happy day, zummy, yummy, woo, muffins, zoo balloons. Circle in, uh, bubble in the answer. Number five, why did it take the kids a long time to solve all the riddles? You're gonna write your answer here. Go ahead and pause the video until you're done and turn the page to 135. So on page 135, we're gonna use the pink words to complete the riddles. And then we're gonna match each riddle to the correct picture. So let's go over those pink memory words at the top of the page. Now, if you look at the first word, it has a little happy face. So we know it's gonna have the soft I sound. So this one's gonna be live. And if the second word has the line, so the I is gonna say its name, live. Now look at those two words. They're spelled exactly the same, but they say two different words, live and live. Then we have eight, eight, this is the number eight. Write and write, this is the one where you would draw something. Old and hold. So let's go ahead and read number one. A real blank hive is where I make honey. So what word do you think we're gonna live uh, right there? We're gonna write live or live. A real live hive is where I make honey. I buzz and I sting. Ow, that's not funny. Do you know what animal they're talking about? Draw a nice straight line to that animal. Number two, I walk on blank legs but I am not a crab. So it's asking for a number. Which one of these pink words at the top was a number? Eight, very good. So you're gonna write eight there. And remember, if you need to pause the video until you're caught up, go ahead and do so. If you blank books about me, say that I spin a web. Hmm. If you write books about me, say I spin a web. So what animal has eight legs and spins a web? 
Number three, I have a hard shell. I'm not easy to blank. Mm, what do you think that one will be? We know it has a hard shell, so if we look at the pictures, we know that we're gonna talk about the turtle. Right, I'm not easy to hold. So you're gonna write hold there. I move very slowly. I blank to be blank. Ooh. Well, I know that turtles live to be a very, very long time. So I live to be old. And then make sure you draw a line to the animal. Number four, I fly to the left and, what's the opposite of left? Right. And I blank bugs for dinner and stayed up all night. Hmm. I ate bugs for dinner and stayed up all night. So what animal do you think that is? Good job, guys. Okay, so I have another fun, interesting fact for you guys. Did you know that an ostrich brain, yes, his brain is bigger, no, wait, let me see. No, no, <laughs> I'll stop. Try this again, guys. I have to read my notes here. His brain, is smaller than his eye. Our eyes are smaller than our brain, but his whole brain is smaller than his eye. Can you imagine? We'd have like a brain that big. I think I know some people. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day.